Hey everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about how to read the XLSX data in Python. So in the previous tutorial, we have worked on writing the data into the XLSX file using OpenPy Excel. Now let's understand how you can read the data if there is some data into the XLSX uh, Excel sheets and then how you can basically refer to the sheet, different sheets and then read the data from those cells, right? So I'll quickly create a new Python file and I'll name it as a read XLSX demo. All right. Now, the first thing basically in order to read the data is to have the Excel sheet ready. So this is the Excel sheet. So demo Excel dot XLSX is the sheet that I have prepared. And this has two sheets in it, right? So sheet and demo sheet. So we can basically refer using the Python program using the uh, OpenPy Excel uh, library. We can refer to this particular sheet and read the data from any of the sheet. Okay. So first thing we have to do is we have to basically import the module OpenPy Excel and the related um, modules that are required to basically read the data from the Excel. So we need to simply say from OpenPy Excel, we'll say import and we imported workbook and for reading we need to import read or sorry load load workbook right so if you simply press control and press on this load workbook you will, it will take you to the basically to the definition of that method load workbook and that's what we'll basically use in order to load the workbook and read the details from the workbook right so that's what we have to basically import that's the first step now we have to basically create or load the workbook right so we'll create a um variable wp and we'll say load workbook so whatever workbook that you are trying to load you have to basically specify the file name of that particular workbook right so you, you have to say load workbook and then you have to basically if you just see hover over you'll see that it it requires the file name and then you have different arguments that you can pass so read only um and then other details that are there right so usually file name is the detail that you'll be specifying so just we'll say file name and we'll say specify demo excel dot xls right so in the quotes we'll say demo excel dot xls so now this particular variable wb will hold the object of this particular excel sheet right now we can basically go to the sheet within this particular excel or this particular uh, file so we can say to go to the sheet we can say sh and then we can say the workbook and the active sheet so if you say wb dot active it will select the active sheet okay so what will be the active sheet in this particular sheet it will be the sheet one so this is the active sheet that will be selected now from this sheet say for example now these are the columns and these are the rows one two three four now if you want to select the value that is there in the column a2 or basically in the cell a2 so this is the cell a2 so it's in the column a and the row two so that's a2 or a3 a4 right so if you want to select the value that is there in any of these columns what we need to simply do is say for example we'll say print statement so that we, we can print it on our console so we'll simply say we'll say sheet dot uh, not sheet dot we'll say sheet and then specify the column number there okay so simply say a3 we want to get the value in a3 and we'll say dot and say value okay so what this will do is it will get me the value in the column a3 of this particular active sheet okay so let's run it and see the result so you can see rama has been printed okay so now if say for example we want to select a specific sheet so we have selected active sheet now so for example i want to select specific sheet so i want to select the different sheet so what we need to do is we just need to say say workbook and then in the square brackets in the quotes we can simply provide the name of the sheet all right so let's see what the name is say for example in the demo sheet right so we need to provide the name of the sheet which is demo sheet and then get the value okay so we can simply say demo sheet 
and let's see what the value is in the A3 cell of the demo sheet. So you can see KK has been printed. Right. So this is the very, very simple way to get the values from the sheet. So basically read the sheet, read the Excel uh, file, re go to the sheet, go to the active sheet or whatever sheet you are looking for and then print the value that is there in the particular cell. Now, say for example, there is one more way. So you do not want to print this way. You can simply say, uh, simply say something like this. So you can say workbook and then you can specify the sheet, right? So you can say demo, right? So you can say demo sheet and then you can specify the column as well, right? So you can simply say A2 and then dot value. Right. So this will do exactly the same thing. So here we are doing two steps, right? So we are, we are saying sheet is this demo sheet and then getting the value. And here we are saying just simply the workbook in this particular workbook, go to this sheet, go to this cell and get me the value, right? So this is just single step. Okay. So if we run this, you will see the result getting printed, right? So KK and Deb has been printed so because in A2, the value is Deb, right? And in A3, the value is KK. So if we open this, go to demo sheet, you will see A2 is Deb and A3 is KK, right? So these values got printed. So there is a, another way to basically access these values. So I'll do the print and what we can do is we can simply say sheet and then there is a method dot we'll say cell, right? So we'll say cell and then we can provide the row and column values here. Say for example, here you have to specifically remember in which particular cell or which cell value you are trying to pull out, right? So say for example, you want to access the values easily. So you can just specify the row and column. So here, say for example, I want to pull the value from second row and third column. Okay. So I can simply say two comma three and then I'll say dot value, right? So this will give me the same result as we will see here. So let's print it and you will see there was no value in second row and third column. Let's see. So here you can see it has only two columns, right? So second row and third column is blank. So that's why it, it has written none. So let's see second row and second column. So it should print Melbourne in that particular case. Okay. So it has printed New York because it is referring to this demo sheet, right? So it has printed New York because here what we are selecting is we are selecting the demo sheet, right? So it has printed New York in that particular case. So this is one of the way. So this is one way or you can simply you, you can specifically mention row and column, right? So this is the preferred way. Basically, it gives you a clear idea that which row and which column you are referring. So you can name it something like row and column and that will help you to identify or make it more readable basically, right? So these are some of the ways to get the values in the Excel sheet, right? So the first way is to get it from the cell value, the second way and the third way is through the dot cell method, provide the row and column. Okay. Now, most of the time, what you will be doing is you won't be reading the values in this way. You will be iterating through the values and then getting the values accordingly and using it, right? So say, for example, you have a requirement to read the whole file and get all the values. Okay. So what you can do is you want to get to know you, you need to know how many rows are there, how many columns are there. So there is a function within this particular uh, module as well. So open by Excel. So say, for example, you want to do that. Let me comment that out and move all of it down here. Okay. So now what we can do is, so for example, I want to get the row count in the particular sheet, right? So I'll create a variable row count and then in the sheet, I can say sheet sh dot max underscore row. Okay. So what this max underscore row will give me is the maximum number of rows in this particular sheet. Similarly, column count will give me the maximum number of columns within this particular sheet, right? So if we say column, sorry, max column, max column. All right. Now, if we print this, let's print and see that the max number of rows and columns are being printed or got properly. So you can see four rows and two columns, right? So let's open our demo Excel and go to demo sheet and see that there are four rows and two columns, right? Now we have got the rows and columns. Now we can simply use our simple for loop and print the values. Okay. So we, we need to iterate through the rows and the columns. So we need to run two loops as we have done in the read XLS demo. So let me quickly copy 
uh, not read will copy from the right right so this is the loop that we have used let me copy that and paste it here and we'll modify it a little bit okay so now this is for the row so the first for loop is for the row it will iterate over the row so for i in the range one two row count right so as we know that this range function runs one less than whatever the row count will be okay so that we have already seen so say for example you specify five here it will run only four times okay so if you want to iterate all the rows because row count is returning me the total number of row count so we have to specify plus one here so that it runs that number of times as there are rows within the particular sheet similarly for j which is basically which will iterate through the columns we'll say column count and column count plus one okay now we'll simply print these values let's print these values on the console so we'll say sheet because uh, this sheet is stored or the object sheet object is stored in the variable asset so we'll say sheet uh, dot cell and then we'll say row is equal to i column is equal to j dot value okay and then this will get printed okay so that's the only thing that is required to basically access all the values in this particular demo sheet okay or any sheet basically now there there can be sheets with thousands of records you just need to write these particular lines of code and you will see that name city and all the values have been printed on my console from that particular sheet right if you want to do not change the line so what we can do is we can say end and we can simply specify just the separator there okay and say for example after first row we want to have a new line so we can say new line after the column has been finished so let me run this and now it will be a little bit better formatted okay so now you can see it has name city and then the values accordingly printed on my console as per the sheet okay so this is how you will basically read the content or the data from the excel files using openpy excel it is very very simple nothing complex at all just you have to basically remember how you will access the values from say for example uh, the different cells so the first first of these lines that we have discussed right so how you will basically get the values from a particular cell or different ways to basically get the values and then if you want to iterate through or get the, all the values then you can use the max row and max column to get the maximum rows and columns in that particular sheet and then use the for loop and the range function basically to provide those max rows and column count and get the values in very very simple way so that's all for this tutorial on how to read the data from excel file using openpy excel i hope it was helpful and clear thank you very much for watching